Hello, we're coming today. I'm out with Senator Paul Busman, week six down in Montgomery. Now, Senator, before we get there, I've got to be serious on a, a national and local level. We've had a shooting in Florida, had various incidents. We've had a, a, a little lockdown up in, in Fairview. Nobody's got an answer. I don't even expect you to, but what does this mean? How do we handle it as a, as a society, and particularly here in, in District 4? Well, I think the first thing is, you know, it's just, a, it's just an awesome tragedy. Uh, you know, when, when people are willing to, to kill other people uh, and, the, and the, the importance of life doesn't seem to be there, uh, there's a lot of issues going on with this, though. It's not just guns. It's guns. We have to look at that issue as well. But it's, it's families uh, falling apart. Uh, it's mental health causing us problems. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of things, video games, all those things are part of it. And it's going to take a tremendous solution to fix it, but we've got to start identifying those solutions and start taking the steps to, to get us closer to that because we cannot continue to have it. It could happen here tomorrow. You know, I hope it never does. Um, but we're not immune to that stuff and we need to make sure we've got, we've got the protections in place. Well, how do we start the mechanics? I think, I think a lot of us think, well, it's going to happen at the national and political level. But that may not be it. It may have to happen on the local level. I mean, how does this get started? I think you're right. I think we've got, you've got to look at it on a local and a state level. Uh, and we've got to figure out how to protect the kids. You know, the, there's a lot of different things that we could possibly do. Uh, you know, there, but those things, we've got to think about those things in, in much detail. Uh, you know, just uh, saying, let's say, for instance, if we isolate the person shooting in a school, uh, if you lock the doors where they can't get out, if there's 30 students in that, in that building that you've just locked up, uh, you know, those 30 students are at risk. Uh, and so, you know, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, you know, we've got to pay more attention to people. We've got to, we've got to listen to what people are saying. When there's a child that's, that's hurting, has lost the life of a loved one or, a, or a, a father or a mother, you know, or has problems in school, we've got to start listening to, their, to what they're saying. And when we see somebody that's hurting, we've got to figure out how to get to them uh, and get them to the help they need before they feel like this is their only option. Makes sense. Well, let's move down to Montgomery. It seemed like for me watching it, it was a slow week, but maybe it wasn't. What was going on down there in week six? Well, but right now we're, we're in the middle of, of uh, getting to the budgets uh, and, and they still don't want to have anything that's controversial on the calendar. So we're doing a bunch of little things. Uh, we did several things this time. Uh, they're not really major things. Uh, we passed the, uh, the grease trap bill, which is a huge bill. Uh, all y'all remember the little girl in, in Auburn that, that fell into the grease trap and drowned. Uh, we've passed uh, legislation now that would require those grease traps to have uh, certain things on them so that can't happen again. Uh, we've passed things like uh, how, do, how does counties and cities identify dangerous dogs? Uh, we don't have anything on the, on the books to, to identify those. How do we handle it? How do we, what do we do with a dog that has caused problems? or that is causing problems or that has hurt somebody. Uh, and that's important. Uh, we had a really big day yesterday for the veterans. Uh, yesterday we passed several bills for the veterans. Uh, one was to give tax, uh, tax incentives to businesses that will hire veterans that are coming back from, from the longest war we've ever had. Uh, another one was to help us fund the, uh, the veteran cemeteries that we have uh, that don't get public funding. A lot of things like that that were, were helpful to the veterans and, and, and we owe them a lot. And so it, it's important that we continue to support them. Makes sense. Well, it was a light week. What do you expect coming up in week seven? Well, we're right at the, right at the edge of budgets. Uh, the House passed the, the education budget this week, so it'll be moving up into the Senate. Uh, the Senate is presently working on the general fund budget, which is a, a in good shape this year. Uh, we're very fortunate that the, that the federal government passed the CHIPS program. Uh, we were prepared to pay for that if they didn't pay for that, and that was going to be a tremendous burden on us. Uh, but we did; we were not about to let the kids go without insurance uh, in, in in Alabama. And so when they passed that, that gave us a little bit of of, of wiggle room, uh, and so that's helped our budget. So that should come up next week. We should be starting to work on the general fund uh, education budget. Still needs a good bit of work. Uh, I still think we've got really big problems in that in that budget for K twelve. Uh, we're going to be working with the Senator Orr on that. Uh, and as we move forward, uh, you know, no telling what will happen. But right now, things are going fairly smooth. Sounds good. Senator, thank you. I'll see you next Friday. We'll do this again. Sounds good. Thanks.